This is a selection from uh, Wikipedia on Edmondson's South Pole Expedition. So we're going to have a look at it and see what we can make of it. Edmondson did not understand the apparent aversion of British explorers to dogs. Can it be that the dog has not understood its master, or is it the master who has not understood the dog? He later wrote. Following his decision to go south, he ordered a thousand Greenland sledge dogs, the best and strongest available. Besides their durability as pack animals, dogs could be fed to other dogs and could provide fresh meat for the men in the polar party. The party's ski boots, specially designed by Admanson, were the product of two years testing and modification in search of perfection. The party's polar clothing included suits of seal skin from northern Greenland and clothes fashioned after the style of the Netsilik Inuit from reindeer skins, wolf skin, Burberry, cloth, and gabardine. Um, the sledges were constructed from Norwegian ash with steel shod runners made from American hickory. Okay. Um, th this whole thing, uh, let me actually check this to make sure. This uh, whole thing comes under the heading uh, transport equipment and supplies. And there's a problem with it right away. Uh, there, are, there are a few ways to make it better, but the biggest problem is, okay, this is long, and we're trying to we're trying to summarize a, a lot of interesting facts and give them um, give them to someone in a way that they get a lot of meaning out of them. I mean, that's the purpose of writing. You're supposed to uh, convey information and reduce ambiguity. So, if we consider the uh, subject verb object construction here that you want to order things uh, so that the subject comes first we have a very important fact to impart about admins in here and it's really interesting because uh, although it's not um, in this particular part of the Wikipedia entry um, he had uh, you know there was Scott of the Antarctic that he was uh, you know racing and uh, Scott is very famous but he's famous because he died and left a very interesting record of his failure and uh, really how he and his men acquitted himself in very difficult uh, circumstances uh, they basically trudged through the snow but Edmondson used a lot of you know you can see here they, they tested ski boots he used dogs the, the British didn't use dogs so what we're really starting with here is this uh, is, is a pretty big idea um, about how he prepared um, so something on the order of Ad and then uh, extensive research something like this um, so now what we what we have here is a sort of conceptual handle that the rest of this stuff can hang on um, So we have this great quote right here. Uh, Can it be that the dog has not understood its master, or the master has not understood the dog, he later wrote. Um, so we can know some things. So th this is very information dense. So if we make some choices, you know, we could say something like, this is going to get messy. There's just no two ways about it. Ski boots specifically designed by Admanson. Best and strongest. Um, sled dogs. Links are messing me up here. So look, look at what happens even if we just start to parse this information a little differently. 
Edmondson did extensive research in preparation for his expedition, ski boots specifically designed, the best and strongest sled dogs, clothes fashioned after the style of the Netsun in Inuit, uh, tents the strongest and most practical that have ever been used, had built-in floors and required a single pole. Um, I would do this called the strongest and most practical that have ever been used, built-in floors and required a single pole. Now, we have some really interesting things um, going on here. Um, uh, yes, so let's let's just clean this up. The ski boots they used were specifically designed by Edmondson. Oh, this is uh, the best and strongest sled dogs. Clothes fashioned after the style of the net slick end of it. Net silic, net slick. Uh, referred to as the strongest and most practical that have ever been used. So, uh, let's see what we got. Skis were made extra long to, let's see, the chance of into a crevasse. So um, we could we could sort of wrap this up in every way, uh, or something like heat. Overlooked no detail. Now, we've conveyed the information that um, so we've sort of conveyed the flavor of the thing, but this isn't an, you know an encyclopedia entry. So it does have to, you know, it's okay to go into uh, quite a great deal of detail because that's that's kind of what you you want from an encyclopedia, uh, more detail than this. Uh, we, we sort of get the point and we can figure out what happens next. But my suggestion would be to take this and then go um, skis, sled dogs. Um, what else do we have here? Um, outerwear. And further subdivide this, uh, further subdivide this entry. So um, let's see from his experiences. Uh, diet. So that there's some there's some stuff here that if you looked at it, diet about combating scurvy. Then all the other information that's down here if you want to pause it and look at this. Uh, oh, look at this. This is very interesting. Mindful of the loss of morale. Edmondson provided for leisure time with a library around 3,000 books, a gramophone, a large quantity of records, and a range of musical instruments. I want to play the sousaphone. Um, okay. Expedition was supplied with wine and spirits. Look at this. For medicine or festival. So I would put that under morale. Yeah. Very interesting fact. So, look at what happens if you, uh, you know, diet. Maybe combating scurvy is uh, under diet. But uh, how much easier that is to sort of parse, rather than having to dig down through all this stuff. You can immediately go, okay, morale. What about morale? Or uh, let's grab the diet here. Um,
Yeah, there we go. That's better. All right, so we have quite a lot of stuff here, but, but hopefully you've seen how we can uh, make sense of it and um, make it flow a little smoother. It's not that you can't, you know, these ski boots designed by Edmondson after two years of testing. And what you do is you explain the two years of testing here. But what we've really done is we've started with the biggest idea about the subject, that he did extensive, you know, ridiculous research and uh, testing, research and preparation for his expedition, which is why he survived. So another thing that I would do for um, consistency here is I would make sure that that all the things that were headings were somehow uh, mentioned in this summary paragraph here. This is just a very kind way to write because you're, you're giving your reader a lot of um, sort of a lot of signposts and using a lot of headings like this is almost like uh, almost like uh, you know hyperlinking. I mean I know it, it gives another you put things in right categories. Oh look at look at this. Appetizing and neutralized. I guess this was written by a uh, English person, but um, anyway, it puts the information in the right shape, and it's easier to access.